Hi, and welcome to Minri Arduino Gadgets. This is part of a series of videos where I'm going to show you how to build useful, interesting, or fun gadgets with a simple Arduino kit, and it's going to be some stuff that you might not see in your typical Arduino beginner's tutorials. Now I'm going to assume that you know some basic things, like how to put the code for a circuit onto your, bread, on, onto your Arduino, and how to put electronics onto a breadboard. If you aren't familiar with these things, there are some great tutorials online that we'll have links to, so that you can get basic knowledge down before trying to build this. Today, I'm going to show you how to build this cool little LCD runner game with an Arduino and some common electronics. This gadget isn't particularly useful, but it is a lot of fun to play with. And if you want to dig into the code, you can learn how to use the LCD screen and the buzzer, which are two common components in Arduino gadgets. First off, I want to show you how this gadget is going to work when you have it built. When we turn on the Arduino by plugging it in into not the USB uh, port there, um, we will see a little character running along the bottom of the screen along with our score. On the bottom row of the LCD, there are little spikes that will end our game if we hit them, and on the top row, there are coins that will increase our score. By picking up enough coins, we can spawn the ending flags and win the game. There's only one control, which is this little button right here, which lets us jump up and down. A nice thing about this gadget is that not only do we have the LCD screen here, we have a buzzer that can play music if I plug it in, which I need to do. So let me do that right there. So when it's running normally, it'll play a fun little theme. And if we lose, we'll get a sad little song that plays, which we'll see in about two seconds here when I run into a spike. There we go. But we can restart the game by pressing the jump button. And if we win, we'll get a little fanfare, and we can still restart the game by pressing the jump button. Now, I'm going to show you how to build this gadget. OK, so now I'm going to show you how to build this gadget. The parts list is on the screen now. And remember, schematics of the gadget are available on our website or directly at z.umn.edu slash minri gadgets, M-N-R-I gadgets. So you can take a look at different drawings of the circuit while you're building it. So building this gadget kind of comes in three parts. You've got the LCD, you've got the buzzer, and the button, which is really tiny. Um, I will typically start by putting all these parts on the breadboard where I want them, and then I'll connect them up to the Arduino with different cables. So I'm going to place the LCD first, because it kind of is the biggest thing. Uh, let's put that right there. So you just want to line up the pins and push it down. Um, I'm going to need a, a 10K potentiometer, which is this little knob thing here to control the brightness. Um, so I'll put that on as well. Try and put it off to the side here. That's fine. And uh, then the buzzer, note that the, the two leads on this are of different lengths. So we've got the positive lead, which is longer, and the negative lead, which is shorter. So remember where those are. Otherwise, you're going to have to pull it back up again and look. And then lastly, the button, which is going to go in just like that. Oops. Doesn't pop right out. So now I'm going to connect everything with wires. First, let's do the LCD um, because it has the most wires. So we're going to start with the VSS pin. And all these pins are labeled on the, or on the LCD with little labels there. It says VSS. That goes to ground. VDD goes to positive. Next, we've got the potentiometer on V0, which is what's used to control the brightness. Let's plug that in there and there. So it's meeting with the potentiometer signal and V0. Now we need to plug in the RS pin. And the RW pin, the read-write pin, goes to ground as well. So we'll plug that in right there. And now the enable pin, E. We're going to plug this in. Now we have four data cables. Those are going to be D4. Make sure it's lined up, not on D3 or D5. D4, now D5, 
now d6, and now d7. And it's really easy to get these wires crossed when you plug them into the Arduino, so do be careful of that. And then lastly, we've got the positive and negative leads for the LED that actually forms the backlight on the LCD here. And those go to positive and to negative. They're labeled AK on the LCD for some reason. I don't really know why. Um, so we've got all these plugged in. Let's plug them into the Arduino now. So you can see, I don't know if where that's zoomed in properly, but you can see, you, can you see those numbers there? Okay, so this is where we're going to be plugging things in for the most part. So we have D4 on pin 2, D5 on pin 3, D6 on pin 4, and D7 on pin 5. And remember what I said about getting these wires crossed, so make sure they're not crossed. Uh, next, the RS pin, which is on this green cable. And I can always look back at the LCD there. It goes to pin six on the Arduino. The enable pin goes to pin seven on the Arduino. And that should be the LCD mostly uh, finished up there. I do need to do one last thing, which is that I need to plug in the potentiometer to the power and the ground. Doesn't matter which polarity you do this in, it should still work. Okay. Now I need to attach the button, and I'm gonna do, so I'm, I'm running out of, of cables here, so I'm gonna do a white wire for the ground there, and then another white wire for the signal, and the button signal goes to pin zero, which is why I picked this longer wire. And remember, it doesn't matter what color the wires are, it just helps you remember things, um, but if you remember where everything is, then you should be okay. I need to check where the pins are on this because I forgot. The positive lead, which is longer, and the negative lead, which is shorter. So remember where those are. So remember where those are. So remember where those are. Didn't follow my own advice. Okay, so I've got the ground pin right here. It might be hard to see this because i got to get my fingers in. It's all fiddly. And then the positive pin, which remember, that's going to the longer lead on the buzzer. On my buzzer, it's also marked with a little plus sign. That goes to 10. The last thing that we need to do is plug in the whole breadboard's power on the positive rail there to the five volt pin on the Arduino. And we're gonna plug in the ground to one of the several ground pins on the Arduino. There's two there and another one further over. Now that this is all built up, Let's plug it in and see if I did it right. All right, so we got a buzzer. That's great. I don't... Okay, good. Worked first try. So I didn't initially see the, um, the LCD, but I had to kind of fiddle with the potentiometer to change the brightness. And also, if the potentiometer leads are a little bent like mine are, you might have to kind of press it down to see it in there. Now, what doesn't appear to be working is my button. So I press the jump, and I'm not getting anything. And I see why that is. It's because I've plugged the ground into the wrong place. So I, I accidentally plugged ground into positive there. Um, but besides that, that appears to have worked. So just remember, go slow. If you have a issue like I just did there, try and isolate the systems. So I looked, I said, okay, the button's not working. I looked at the two pins for the button and tried to make sure they were plugged into the right places. And when I saw that the ground was plugged into the wrong place, it was pretty easy. Uh, remember, you can see the schematics on the website and you should be able to figure things out pretty easily. So now that you know how this is built and you know how the code works, I want to give you some fun stuff that you can try uh, if you know this was too easy for you. So some cool things you can try. I should be looking at the camera. Um, <laughs> some cool things that you can try. You can try to change the music. Um, there are places where you can find free Arduino music online. You just need the notes and the length of the notes. Uh, or you could write your own song. That could be fun. You could try adding sound effects with a second buzzer. Just put a second buzzer on here and make it maybe beep when you jump or maybe if you get a coin. 
Another thing that you could do is add another potentiometer and use it to set the speed at which the game scrolls. Kind of like a difficulty uh, controller. Also like a difficulty controller would be scaling the difficulty over time. By using a counter to keep track of how long the game has been running, you could slowly speed up the game or increase the rate that spikes generate at until it's just a whole floor full of spikes and you can't do anything. Another thing that if you read the code you'll notice is there's a very easy way to actually beat this game kind of without playing it, but I'll leave that to you to find. I hope you build this gadget for yourself and I hope you have fun. I'll see you soon for another Minri Arduino gadget. Stay curious and build fun things in the meantime.